Hello, my wonderful artists. I am coming to you today to talk about our spring break art challenge. First of all, I want to say this is a completely optional thing. However, it is a great way to keep your creativity going and to really kind of dip into that creative side of yourself so that you're not just sitting around bored and playing video games the whole time. You guys know how I feel about that. So the directions say, use the ideas below to create art over break. You can use any materials you want and have fun. So decided to make this video just to kind of talk you through these ideas and show you how I would maybe um, try some of these. First, an Easter basket. You could draw this Easter basket. You could just draw what would go in the Easter basket. You could get into paper weaving and learn how to weave your own basket. Um, you could make it a three-dimensional basket by making it out of cardboard and figuring out how all those things would go together. Um, that would be an amazing work of art. Um, for the Easter bonnet, think about maybe changing one of your hats that you have at home, or maybe mom has an old hat she never wears. Um, could you add flowers to it? Maybe they're real flowers, maybe they're fake flowers. Take a picture of it. Temporary art is a huge thing um, that a lot of people um, partake in. So feel free to take a picture of it and use that as your artwork. Flowers or a garden. You could be drawing anything from the tulips and daffodils that are coming out of the ground right now, or you could draw the um, flower garden of your dreams. Flowers are just so positive and um, I don't know, exciting. I love drawing flowers. I love painting flowers. So it's a great idea and a way to um, kind of get your brain into the spring mode and a little happier. I know most of you are still finishing up some of those AR points, so you could take your favorite book or book character and draw it out. What does that character look like, especially if it's something they haven't made into a movie yet? or it's not a graphic novel where you're just copying somebody else's artwork, you could come up with the way that uh, character looks. What do they wear? What do they look like? Um, what's their personality like? Are they angry all the time? Are they happy all the time? You know, maybe even take a scene from the book and make it into a work of art. All right, this one's a little more difficult, but it'll get you drawing faster and paying attention to little details if you draw quickly. Your dinner or breakfast or lunch if you want before you eat it. So think about where the placemat is if you use one, your napkin, fork, and silverware, your cup of milk or water, and what's on your plate. How can you draw that so that we understand there's a difference between the chicken wing and the mashed potatoes and the peas? You know, draw out your food. It's always a great way to um, get better at drawing fast and practicing your drawing, even though, you know, not too many people think about drawing what they're eating. Your favorite game. I will say you can draw your video game or outside games, which are much more fun. So are you um, playing on your swing set? Are you going to the park? You know, what it is, what is it you are doing? I'm not sure what I drew there. That's an interesting little drawing. Oh, I think that was like a phone, a video game like you play on your phone. So there you go. It's not the greatest. <laughs> so a selfie with a filter. Take a picture of yourself with a filter on and then draw it. Maybe even change it into black and white before you draw that picture. Um, just to kind of make it easier to look at where the shading and highlights are and try your best. Um, nobody is judging these. These are totally just to kind of stretch your artistic mind and get those artistic juices flowing. You can also do a bunny or a chick. Signs of spring, Easter bunnies and little baby chicks. Um, if you have a bunny at home, that's even better. You could draw that. You know, make it huge. Make it like, you know, something you do on a big old piece of cardboard and, and you draw it out or maybe you even paint it in. Um, what kind of crazy things could you do with it? I hope that these inspire you to be creative over break and not just sitting around 
doing nothing, saying that you're bored, telling your parents you're bored, and if all else fails, go clean out that room. I know you probably need a good spring cleaning. I hope you guys have a great break, and I will post a picture of this list on Google Classroom as well. Have a great time, guys. Be safe out there. Make good choices. See you soon.